Hi, my name is Jim Bala. Today we'll be installing our LED plow markers. They come in three sizes, 24, 28, and 36 inches in length. Part numbers for each are on your screen now. Let's get going on these and, uh, you know, light up the night. So before we get started, we got to get some tools that we know we need for the job. So first of all, we have some uh, <clears throat> anti-seize because we have some stainless steel bolts and nuts. We got some two half inch wrenches, some wire ties, or some cutters, crimpers, strippers. We got a nice little handy uh, <clears throat> razor knife. We got our mounting kit, which is actually uh, 1308126. So we have the mount to the LED marker lights. And then we have our three quarter inch wrench, electrical tape, and of course our burns torch to shrink wrap or shrink our little uh, butt connectors here. So let's get started. Right now we're going to install the brackets that go on the plow before we put the LED marker lights on. One thing you got to remember that the LED plow markers do not come with the mounting kit so you got to order this separately and again the part number is a 1308126. So the first thing we're going to do is mount the bracket. So the first second thing I'm going to do is take some anti-seize and get it on the threads of the bolt. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put the nut on the inside. And do the same thing to the second bolt. Get a little, little anti seize on there. And you'll see it kind of has like a slot <clears throat> to hold it in place. So we'll just go there, get that nut on. Of course, in my trusty pocket, we have some wrenches. So I'm just going to tighten it up. Okay, on to the next step, which will be getting the LED markers in place. So before we start to install the uh, LED plow markers, uh, we want to look at the installation instructions for the LED plow markers. <clears throat> so again, we always call these our best friends from other videos, but if the instructions are not your best friend, please give us a call uh, at Byers Products to so we'll make sure it's right for you. So first thing I'll do is like we did on the bracket is I'm gonna put a little anti-seize, put that down there, a little anti-seize on the threads. Okay, make sure they don't gall up. And per instructions, it says, you know, put the ground wire on first and put a washer, then the bracket, then the washer, and then the nut. So we're going to start there. Then we're going to make sure we have the wire going in the right direction because we're going to feed it probably through here, through the ribs, all the way down the plow, then into the center, then up into the parking lights of the plow lights. So let me tighten this up and then we'll get to the next step. So just at the end I want to make sure that ground wire is in a good spot so it doesn't get damaged when we're plowing. <clears throat> there we go, now we're going to run the wire. So first thing you want to do <clears throat> is plug the positive wire, white wire, into the bottom. Make sure it's secure. Then what we're going to do is just going to cut the tie off the wiring harness and then what we're going to do is start feeding it you know through a good path of the plow so it's not accessible to the elements or one thing you want to remember straight plow, straight plow or V plow you want to make sure that if there's a pivot the harness isn't tight somewhere where it's going to rip it apart. So make sure where it has to be loose, that it is loose. So the wings can go in and out without it affecting the wire. As you see, I'm just running this through the ribs. Make sure it's nice and neat. You know, one rib at a time. Just gonna keep it nice. All right, now I'm just going to try to find a way to get it up to the plow light, so let me get on the other side for you guys so you can see. 
So now I'm in the middle of the V plow. Again, this is probably the most difficult plow to do because again, it goes in and out. But once we get to that center point, we want to run it so again, it doesn't pinch or just get caught up in something. So we want to run it along with something. So, so you can see, I kind of ran it down the ribs of the mold board, down through the center. As you see, the wing's all the way out. So all the slack out of the wire is gone. So this way we're not, you know, pull the wire in and out, you know, stretching it too much. So got a little slack here. We're going to go down the A-frame. We went to the hose. Now we're going to come back up and try to go to the parking light of the plow light. So let's get to that now. So you can see I ran the wire up through the hoses to the first spot where the black tie is. Now I'm going to splice into the harness right here um, to catch that parking light. So as you can see, I peeled back the loom. I got the LED harness here with the black and white. Of course, black's ground, white's power. And what I'm going to do is look for the brown and black wire. Again, brown's your parking, black's your ground, yellow's your low beam, green's your high beam, purple is your turn signal. So, and there's also a red and bl uh, blue wire in here too. Those are extra wires that go all the way to the end here in case you want to put another accessory, like with a switch inside the cab. But for this application, of course, we're just going to hook it up to the parking light so they're always lit when the lights do come on. So what I'm going to do is cut the brown wire in half. And then the black wire in half. I'm going to strip them. And then what we're going to do is get some buck connectors on there and uh, get this thing getting connected here. All right, oh, well, two more. Here we go. All right, so it's all stripped. Now I'm going to get some buck connectors and we'll get them together and uh, get this thing lit up. So I'm going to put the white and brown together. Get in this little buck connector that you can actually shrink wrap, which is a wonderful product. Get it in there. Get a little crimp on it. Now do the same thing to the black and black wire. Get them close together here. Twisty do. Got that. Now I'm just going to get this brown wire in there. They're like pens, pens there. Get a crimp for the power. And then get the black wire here. Same thing, get a good crimp on it. Of course, the old, the old tug test. Make sure they're crimped. So the next step is we're going to heat up these two connectors, shrink it down, kind of rebuild this harness so it uh, looks a little better than uh, a spider web. And, uh, so heat up the connector, get it shrunk on there. Of course, uh, try to stay away from the gasoline and a few uh, flammable items. And your finger. Stay with your finger. It's never good. All right, there we go. 
So what I'm doing now is just wrapping it up really nice and neat. Keep it out of elements. All right, so I just wrapped it all up. Looks like a day old Christmas gift, but it's wrapped up looking nice and neat. So I got the driver's side done. Now let's go over to the passenger side and get that done. Next time you see me, we'll have them both working. So I'll go get a sandwich and I'll see you in a few minutes. One more thing to note. After the install and we got it all lit up, you can see that the LEDs on front are a lot brighter than the ones on back. And this is the way they should be. So you might have to adjust it on the nut and just turn them a little bit to make sure that the dull part is on the back so when you're driving you're not going to get that glare off the lights. Well there you have it, we just finished the passenger side. So this is how you install the LED plow marker lights by Byers Products. If you have any questions please give us a call or visit our website at buyersproducts.com. Also please go to YouTube, we have so many other videos there. Make sure you like and subscribe to our page and uh, you know happy plowing and see you next time.